Good morning, I'm Christina. I work at Tenenbaum Jewelers and I wanted to talk to you about jewelry and hardware. Um, Lindsay said she was gonna do an email this week to talk about you know, a couple different things, but highlighting hardware and jewelry and the motif and the idea of it. So I kind of thought I'd talk a little bit about Bulgari, which I love. Bulgari makes really beautiful jewelry, but something I think is very apropos and timely is that they're doing, they've always done, and they're, right now it's very popular, the whole idea of androgynous jewelry or the idea that it can be worn by men and women. Um, I don't know if any of y'all saw Bad Bunny wearing a crop top and he kind of blew up Instagram. He's Puerto Rican and I just think he's very groovy, but he's the kind of guy that would cross boundaries, right? And he's a man, but he dresses like a woman on occasion. Um, and I like the idea of jewelry being something that can be worn by either sex. Um, it's kind of a hot topic right now anyway, but they've been doing it for a long, long time. And one of my favorite things that they do is called the B0. And so it's this kind of a look. This is rose gold and white gold, and it says Bulgari on the outside, and it kind of has a little bit of play to the movement of the ring. You can kind of move it around a little bit like a spring. Um, kind of a classic hardware kind of a motif. Um, Bulgari does this design in wide and narrow and all sorts of colors. They make necklaces and they make earrings. And again, you can imagine a man wearing this. This isn't that unusual. And as a woman, you can wear it. You can also mix it up with other bands, right? Um, this I pulled because this is a Marine Link. It's a big bracelet. It's vintage. It is bulgary and it is super cool. It's heavy. And again, I think it looks fantastic on me. Nobody would argue with that. But I think it's also a piece that could be worn by a man. It's certainly substantial enough. Um, and I think that it is something that although made probably 40 years ago, it is super apropos for 2021. So anyway, happy Monday.